the goal is to unlock this thing called mentor roulette this thing called mentor roulette so you can do roulettes that basically put you in a random dungeon which are four man dungeons or trials which are eight man dungeons mentor roulette basically basically makes it where you can do any four man or eight man or 24 man piece of content in the game from level 80 to level uh very low like 12 i think what is this no to level 10 from level 10 to level 80 so like a huge range of content well, i want to do this mentor roulette to unlock an achievement to get a certain mount 2000 times and so if you get the really low level ones that are level 10 or level 15 it'll take you know 10 15 minutes to do it if you get the 24 man ones if you get the the huge alliance raids or if you get you know the, some of the longer eight man trials where nobody knows what the hell they're doing it'll easily take over an hour or maybe you won't even clear it so this is the hell that i'm gonna go through for the next month or so to clear this thing two thousand times and i don't even have it unlocked you see all these question marks i don't even have the things unlocked there's some content that i haven't done yet so it's time to put myself through a little bit of hell oh let's go Main thing I wanted to do before the next DLC comes out, which is late November. Yeah, oh no, it comes out on my birthday. Happy birthday to me from Square Enix. Comes out on my birthday, November 23rd, is I wanted to max out all these classes. I've already maxed out all the tank classes, all the healer classes. I wanted to max out all these boring DPS classes. And yes, all the damage classes are boring to me, even though I think it's usually the other way around for most people, because like doing damage is fun. Big numbers, big damage equals big fun. However, that is not the case for me. At least not like late game. Because late game, you're doing like end game raids and like stuff like that with other veterans. It's like the people that actually make a huge impact are the healers and the tanks. So it's like, I don't know. That's how it is in a lot of other games too. Like you play Overwatch or League of Legends or whatever. It's like the supports and the front lines that like make a huge impact in the games. Okay, I've never been here before, so I kind of want to watch this. I think this is a level 60 dungeon. This is from the second expansion, so this is like a really techy place. Where they use like... Magic and shit to power their... Stuff. Okay, first boss. What we got here? Oh, okay, we got... We got, uh... That one... That one robot from that... Star Wars movie. I don't even remember what movie it was. He's changing forms? Okay, never mind. Buster. Looks like it doesn't do anything different. How come that how come mafia people have mafia names, but they don't call them street names? What's the deal with that? Because it's essentially the same thing. You tell me but you then you had to kill me? Oh no, you're one of them. Maybe it's because mafia names are like more or the the mafia, the mob in general is like more organized. Like organized crime. Whereas street names aren't aren't always organized crime. I mean, not even crime at all. Not all the time, anyway. You guys want to come up with, like, a mafia name for me? Or, like, a street name for me? So I can get in with the cool kids, you know? I can get all the all the good deals on, like, the Girl Scout cookies. The, the Girl Scout cookies. You know what I'm saying? The Girl, the girl Scout cookies? But they're not going to take me seriously unless I have a good-ass name. A good-ass name. Like, like Tommy Two Shoes McGee or some shit like that. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Everybody wears two shoes. Why would Tommy only wear one shoe? It's okay if he wears no shoes, like if he's at home or something. But why would he only wear one shoe? You don't have to emphasize that Tommy wears two shoes, you know what I'm saying? Tommy's missing a leg? Wait, so why is Tommy called Tommy Two Shoes McGee if he's missing a leg? That's like, that's kind of rude against Tommy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, let's give Tommy a nickname to remind him that he only has one leg. That's rude. Maybe he wears shoes on his hands? Why is that guy even in the Mafia? He's like not that useful. Maybe Tommy just does the paperwork or something. How is that guy gonna assassinate anybody? He's so tough he wears two shoes on one foot. <laughs> Nobody wants to call him Tommy, Nub Tommy Nubby Leg? You don't have to call him Tommy Nubby Leg. Just don't call him Tommy Two Shoes. Call him something badass. Give him the most badass. Oh, he just pulled. Give him the most badass name there. Tommy Big Guns. <laughs> okay okay we don't gotta go that we don't gotta go that way i don't think tommy wants that name i mean maybe he does 
I can't speak for Tommy. Tommy can't walk. That's a good mafia name right there. An, an ableist mafia family? I've seen it all. I mean, as long as they're, like, employing Tommies, like, whatever, right? Alright, what we got here? Let's see who this boss is. It better be something cool. This should be- this is the final boss of the dungeon? What the hell am I looking at here? I don't know what these shiny things do. Shiny pla- okay, I guess it just... Explodes. Is that a mine? Okay, don't stand over there. This is a lot to keep track of for a level 60 dungeon, bro. Tommy, break your legs so you walk like me, Pickles. Tommy trying to break, bring everybody down to his level, huh? Who's Tommy? Tommy is this hypothetical person in the Mafia that uh, only has one leg. But they named him Tommy Two Shoes. So we're trying to think of a better name for him. This guy ordered pineapple, ham, and black olives pizza. It sounds disgusting, but I said yum. Just to kind of make him feel better. Tommy One Knee. So he has one foot, but we can assume that his leg was chopped off below the knee? Okay. I think that's supposed to be ideal, right? Like, if you lose part of your leg, you want it to be below the knee to give you more flexibility. Alright, instant cue. I have no idea what this is either. I think this is, this is Biako. He's like a white striped tiger. Okay, bamboo forest. Okay, the tiger speaks English. Uh... Oh, he's human now. Oh, wait. Kind of. Oh, he's just stepping on the tank. Look at him, he's just stepping on him. That's so rude. He's just stepping on him like a little ant. Oh, he has a buff on. Storm Pulse? Get away from the balls? They're rotating, I think? Oh, the tiger's out. Roar of Thunder, is this a DPS check? Oh. Is this a cutscene? We have to mash buttons. Sometimes in these cutscenes, you have to mash buttons. Oh, we have to move. Oh, let's go, dude. Wait, this is so cool. Wait, this is so cool. I've never seen this in a fight before. Oh my god, don't get hit. Wait, I want to fight this on extreme so bad. This is so cool. No more games. Oh, we're fall We're drop. Where are we dropping? Tilted towers. All the bamboo. You destroyed all the bamboo. Dude, we could have harvested that. Oh, he's throwing his balls at us. That was such a cool fight. He has a tiger arm. Here's another badass fight. I think this is Suzaku. <laughs> Uh, kill everything, I guess? Oh, just kill one? I could not bear to lose you again. Uh, you didn't lose me yet. I'm not going anywhere. Oh my god. She has a flute. She's a human? So this battlefield is the Su Suzaku fight. Uh... Uh... Okay. So just don't be where the bird is. Music is awesome. Nice. I'd like to do this fight on an extreme too. Alright, apparently we're fighting a big old Sneko. Big old Sneck boy. He doesn't seem that, uh, intimidating. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, he seems slightly more intimidating now. What do we do here? What do we do here? Go in? How am I supposed to know that? Knockback? Okay. What a weird indicator. These heads are kind of creepy. Okay, cutscene. Oh. Oh, snake. We're going to the snake pit. Hiss. Hiss, hiss. Oh, we're swimming. Get back to the arena. 
Oh, dude, there's snakes over there. What is that? Oh, hello. It's the jelly man again. I'm a shiki. Shiki, 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 shiki. <coughs> okay. Now we're just trolling. The slime man has returned. What are these circles? Stand in them? No one's over here. Cool beans. Can't pull anybody. That was so hectic. That fight was awesome, though. All of these uh, Stormblood fights are so cool.